Hello, welcome to my tech farm. I'm Igor and from time to time I wanted to 3D print something for my car interior. Nothing special like GoPro mount adapter or similar. But I wasn't sure which material to use. And searching on the internet just confused me because there are so many different informations. But then I understand that they have to be different because it depends where do you live. They cannot be equal to those who live in Florida or in Siberia, for example. So I decided to create my own test. Uh, there will be 10 very hot days now in a row and uh, the test is still in progress. You can see some test pros here. Uh, I will test uh, seven different materials and uh, at the end uh, I will uh, do the test in the oven simulating higher temperatures because uh, I cannot get too high temperatures here. I will measure the Temperatures. I even created an uh, Arduino data logger for one day to record the temperature change during the time. For temperature values, I will always talk in, in uh, degree of Celsius, but on screen you can see the value in uh, Fahrenheit. So let us see those materials one by one. I tested three types of PLA, and uh, most of them is in white color uh, to exclude the effect of the heat absorption because of the darker color. Only three are in different color, you will see it later. Okay, so the first one is Gamebit PLA Plus. Uh, I have both in white color, PLA and PLA Plus, but I use this version because its heat deflection temperature is 55 degrees Celsius, 5 degrees higher than the regular PLA. Printing is very easy, I got very nice trite object and I'm uh, marking it so I can identify it later. The next one is HT PLA by 3DEE. HT means high temperature and this filament I have only in black color. I know it will affect the test but um, I have to give it a try because on their website they wrote that it can be used at temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius where probably only ABS and some alternative plastic can be used. I know this is just a marketing data, but um, let's give it a try. And size, this is the only one in black color, I don't have to mark it. It's different anyway. Third pillar in this test is Polyplus by Polymaker. Uh, its new name now is uh, Polylight. And on local store it writes that it, it can hold up 140 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculous. I know this is again some kind of marketing data, but I really like this Polymaker brand because I know they have a good quality filaments, but according to the data sheet the heat deflection temperature is between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. Anyway, let's give it a try. And this filament I have only in green color, and this means I don't have to mark it because it will be different from the other materials in this test anyway. Fourth filament in this test is PETG by Hertz in white color. According to the data sheet, heat deflection temperature is, is uh, 75 degrees Celsius. And I like to use PETG because it's, uh, for me it's very easy to print. Uh, I was hoping that uh, this material will survive these temperatures in the car. Fifth filament is ABS in white color. ABS is most common material for car interior, but as injection molded object, of course. Uh, heat deflection temperature is, well, theoretically, according to the website, 98 degrees Celsius, but uh, usually it's uh, a little bit above 90. Just to read the uh, copy from the website, your print won't show signs of deformation up to 98 degrees Celsius. ABS is hard for printing on open CD printer. To avoid wrapping, you need enclosure, but this object was very simple, so I didn't have any problems with it. Now, sixth filament is ASA in natural, but it's almost white color. Well, ASA is something like improved ABS. It has very simple properties. It is also very stable, over 90 degrees heat deflection temperature, but it doesn't suffer from strong shrinking and uh, produced fumes are much less noticeable. And yes, I also noticed that it's easier for CD printing. So this uh, test probe is very easy to print, so I didn't have any problems with uh, printing. But uh, consider that uh, with larger objects, if you don't have enclosure, then you may have some troubles with these uh, filaments. And also ABS, well, it needs some ventilated room. And seventh uh, material is nylon by Gamebird, and I have this only in blue color. Sticking to BEI sheet, I sold with the glue stick, but I had a lot of problems with printing because of the moisture. 
I used this pulse right from the packaging and I thought it would be dry, but it wasn't. If you can hear those uh, short crack sounds, those are boring micro drops. I know I should uh, dry the filament before use, but uh, I got my uh, test probes. They are very ugly, but uh, for this test, they will do the job. Just quick overview of the temperatures to be clear uh, with the values. I create an Arduino based data logger uh, based on LM35DZ temperature sensor. I will show this uh, project in separate video. I'm just somewhere here the results. And I started it at 11.50 and then it recorded the inner temperatures of the car every 10 minutes. Here you can see the temperatures in degrees Celsius and here in Fahrenheit. And this is the graph, it's in degrees Celsius. And what can we see from this graph that uh, approximately after a little bit more than one hour, temperature inside the car will reach its maximal temperature. During my test, uh, the higher temperature I could measure is 69 degrees Celsius. You will see that later in the video. And um, I just searched on internet, uh, I found a very interesting source where you can estimate the uh, inter inner temperature of the car in function of the outer temperature. And also I couldn't find a source where it writes the temperature is bigger than 80 degrees inside the car. So this will be some kind of base for my oven test. Of course I will go a little bit higher, but if material survive this temperature, then I can recommend it to use inside a car. Everything is printed uh, on basic parameters with two perimeters and 20% uh, in fill. And I glued the test probes to old CD case and I placed M10 uh, screw nut to them, just simulating some minimal load to the object. This is the first day, approximately 34 degrees Celsius outside and uh, 3 out of 7 filaments are already failed. So only PTG, ABS, ASA and the nylon are holding correctly so far. And all different types of PLAs are failed already. This is the second day, also it will be a very hot day today. I'm on my workplace now. Usually I'm searching for some shadows here in parking place. But now I left it on the stronger sun and in that direction is the south. So uh, it will get the hottest sun. 33 degrees Celsius. It's noon. So 56 degrees Celsius. So this is the second day, all types of PLA are sitting straight on the bottom and PET, ABS, ASA and nylon are still holding quite tight. Not sure, maybe I can see some minimal stomach on PETG. But I'm not sure, so it's, it's hardly noticeable. It's day three, absolutely no clouds. Very hot day. And it's one o'clock. I'm not leaving yet, just checking the temperature. The highest temperature today, and it is 65 degrees Celsius with open top window.
It's 4 p.m. now. It was very hot day today. 65 degrees Celsius, but now it's it's 45. And what I'm very curious that if PETG will fail, but but it holds correctly so far. Because from these four filaments, this is the order. So the PTG is the easiest to print, then ASA, ABS, and nylon. So, day three, these four are still in the game. This is day four, no clouds. And now the roof shade is covered now. I hope it's visible on camera, 63 degrees Celsius. Uh, 61 is going down now because I will open the window, it's very hot inside. And just very curious about PT, PTG. I'm not sure if it's visible on camera, there is a minimal stomach here. So maybe it's a little bit too much for PT, but but it it looks okay. And the other, yes, ABS ASA they are completely straight, so they can handle this temperature so far. And of course, all types of the PLA they already failed on the first day. Day five, it's very hot. There are very tiny clouds which sometimes cover the sun. So 61 degrees Celsius inside the car. The PETG has a little stomach. And it's it's a little bit bigger than yesterday. So it looks like the PETG is not good solution. ABS, ASA and nylon are completely straight. Where is the other P PETG? Let's move this. Yes, definitely, there is a stomach on PETG. ABS completely straight. ASA also straight. And nylon also. Ugly print, but, but it's, it's work. So it looks like the PETG will fail to this is day six, but I forgot to record the top temperature. Now it is 30 degrees Celsius at 4 p.m. So it is, was very hot day, but no big changes on the test probes. It's a day seven. This is my wife's car. It's 11 a.m. I'm here with my daughter because we have here the seat for a kid and we will be on the playground approximately two hours. It will be a very hot day, we will see uh, what will happen today with these test probes. Will be any changes. It's 1 p.m. Let's see the temperature. Oh my god. Sixty-nine. Wow. Outside, 34 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's not that hot feeling like yesterday, but probably because the temperature, the thermometer was here on this black, this is very, very hot. So probably here it would be a little bit less, but let's analyze the probes. Uh, most important is the PETG. There are no changes compared to the yesterday. Sixty-nine degrees Celsius. Oh, it's very hot inside. Out. It's still day eight. Uh, I'm in a supermarket. There is a parking in a shadow, but I'm again I'm leaving my car uh, on the strongest sun because of this experiment. 
<laughs> two more days. This is day nine. I'm not leaving yet. I'm just recording the top uh, temperature because it is 1.30 p.m. 64 degrees Celsius. Outside 31 or 32. So it's 3 p.m. It's still very hot. 62 degrees Celsius. But now let's see are there any changes on the test probes. Ah, it's a little bit bigger. So day nine, now the PTG stomach is, is, it's obvious. According to weather forecast, this should be the hottest day, but there are some tiny clouds. So the temperature is only 60 degrees Celsius. So this is end of the 10th day. Tomorrow it will be rainy, so uh, I will stop this part of the test here. It was really torture for my car because usually they are in the garage or parked in the shadow. And uh, I will analyze these test probes now and then continue with the oven test simulating even higher temperatures. This is the situation of first seven test probes and very similar is the situation on the, the other half. So these are those test probes in this order approximately. All three types of the PLA failed almost equally. And now here starts the interesting part. PTG. I can definitely see the deformation on, on PTG. Maybe I can illustrate it with the caliper. And which are still in game, the ABS, ASA and nylon. So these are completely dry. I cannot see any deformation on, on it. PTG, ABS, ASA and nylon, same here. And just to be sure, this is one test, probably a little bit different shape, but uh, this is resin painted with SLA. PTG completely failed above 70 degrees Celsius and ABS and ASA failed exactly in the same time on above approximately 90 degrees Celsius. And nylon survived these high temperatures. Yes, PTG very soft even now. ABS is now already hard, ASA also. I believe these two materials are very similar from this aspect. And yes, nylon hold tightly, perfectly straight still. And resin also. And now the conclusions. I'm not surprised with the PLA results, but I'm very sad that PTG failed too because uh, it's easy to print with. And from these three materials, ASA, ABS and uh, nylon, uh, I will use ASA because it is easier for 3D printing. But uh, for bigger object, uh, it's not so simple, so you still need an enclosure. Oh, and if you have SLA 3D printer, then the resin may be solution for you. Okay, that will be it from my side. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, drive safely. And now let's find some shadow finally for my car.